Hello YouTube and um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial with Blender 2.55 Blender 2.5 beta yeah um, on uh, the ex it's called explode explode modifier okay just start off the default scene if you have it delete this cube shift a add mesh UV sphere. Now you might think just go add mesh, explode. Then you go Alt A to test it out. Nothing happens. Now this is what I thought at first how you'd get it to work, because that's how it works in the previous versions. Like um before the two point five betas. But now you have to go add a particle system, go to the particle tab particles tab first. Add particle system. I'm gonna set my end to one. The further this is the end, the um, longer it's gonna to take to fully like explode, kind of thing. Now I'm gonna turn off none in the render bit. That's so that no particles show up. Um, the particles just makes it separate and actually explode. Now I'm going to go, oh, if you want it to explode in all directions, you can you turn off the gravity, but I don't want that. Um, let's just see how this looks quickly. Alright, I thought I'd do something. The particle system has to be above the explode modifier. Again, don't know why, it just does. And then, I know that wasn't much of an explosion, or oh, it was, but, yeah. Um, let's set this at 10 actually, and pump this up to 1,500. Okay. Now nah, it's more of a explosion type thing. I'm gonna set my minute geometry to zero and my field weights in field weight to go gravity zero. Now I'll day. Now why is that not working? Maybe set this back up one. Okay, that'd be why. And that's more of the explode that you want. And now they stop there because it only has a lifetime of 50. If I set this to say 200, you see it should, yeah, it'll go past it until the 200th frame. Now, yeah, they're pretty uniform. Well, actually, it's incredibly uniform. But you can just. Just mess up some of these values, and as you'll see, some things go in different directions. But this is just a basic tutorial. Now I'm just going to add modify, quickly solidify, just pump that up a little, just to give them some thickness. And I'm actually I'm going to show you something that I found today that looks it looks quite cool. At the same time, very weird. It is the screw modifier, and press Alt A. And as you see, it lags my computer out, but it looks quite. Uh, the word I'm looking for is probably different. I don't know what you could use that for, but if you actually do find a use for that, tell me. It looks very weird, but um, that's the uh. So just gonna turn off that screw modifier. It lags out my computer too much. So it's smooth. Okay, that is just the um basics of the explode modifier. And that's the mere basics, just how to actually get it working, and you just go in here mess around with the velocity and stuff and 
that's yeah all you do is just mess around with some of these um, things also if you turn it to fluid it looks a little better I think yeah but actually now it's like really really random and the more particles you have let's pump this up to 10,000 I'm just going to render, but the more pieces the um, Q, uh, uh, sphere will break into. So, um, yeah, that's my basic tutorial on uh, the explode modifier. Um, I, I will probably bring you some more videos on some modifiers that I find out about that I find quite interesting but until then um, thanks for watching and comment on my videos or just give me some ideas for some tutorials so thanks for watching bye